it previously about a few months ago. Um, placed the evaporator coil, pressurized it, had it about like 350. Sat here for just an hour just to make sure nothing was leaking out. Vacuumed it, everything was good, going good. But then now we're back because uh, I believe either one of our brazes is cracked or something else is going on on the inside. That's it. So you can get this camera up in here. Yeah. See it? Oh yeah. Yeah, it, it's yeah. it's a leaker. Yeah. We have a unit here that was installed, I think in 2017. So we have a seven-year-old system here. To the untrained eye, this install. It doesn't look too bad. I will tell you, we've already been here. We've already fixed some things. Uh, we're fixing more things today. When we got here, they had a condensate pump that was probably pushing 30 or 40 years old. It was definitely original to this building. I don't know exactly how old this building is. The pump was not working properly. This was the only way that they had to change a filter when we got here. Was the factory filter housing which was conveniently blocked by this drain so this thing had been running essentially unfiltered for seven years when we first got here and what they ended up wanting to do rather than cleaning this coil was just replace the coil because the coil was pretty cheap i'll show you guys a picture of the coil here so that you can see uh i showed it to the homeowner and they said hey uh just replace that thing so we came out and we replaced this coil in here. All we touched was this, this, and this. The system vacuumed down, uh, well, held pressure, vacuumed down. This winter, the customer turned on the heat and we came out and felt all this oil. I don't know if you can see, yeah. We thought that uh, our brazes had leaked, but we ended up following it all the way up. We found a leak here. This is not our braze. We're doing the customer a solid, doing it for an extremely discounted rate. I actually offered to do it at cost. You know, I just want to say real quick, I greatly appreciate my clientele. This customer was absolutely adamant that she pay us something. I told her I felt bad about the whole situation, so I would do it significantly cheaper. I'm still doing it for a discounted rate, rate but uh, the discounted rate I'm doing it for still allows me to pay my guys and pay all my costs, so. You trying to bend this or, I mean, like, with hands or by benders? Probably benders. Gotcha. <laughs> Just fucking right. work. <laughs> 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 Alright, so I was like, I'm just gonna keep my mouth shut. It's like, it's not even worth the conversation. <laughs> yeah, you're like, all right, dude, if the camera's on, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> when are we gonna get that deep burn tool? Uh, um, did you leave it outside? Yeah, I think so. Bing. That's mm -hmm. pretty quick and dirty, uh, dirty job, This may be like considered condition space, huh? Look at us hard at work, dude. Literally, bro. I always hold it in my two slides, so I don't want to. Makes you feel cooler. Mm. Age back life.
Doing the smaller shit? Yeah. Nice. So this joint right here, this fucking joint. <laughs> I mean, it's not, it's not leaking. The contractor, rather than reducing to the proper pipe size, literally just went around the joint and brazed over top of everything. That is not the correct way of doing things, but it is holding. But things like this are what end up costing you money in the long run, because this is def definitely not done properly. And uh, it, it's gonna be a lot more prone to leaking than an actual joint. Yeah, yeah. leaky joints. I mean, we make yeah. money from leaking drugs. That's right. So. <laughs> Keep right. it up, I guess. <laughs> Job security. Job right. security. The more you guys suck, the better we get. <laughs> 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 well, I channel locked everything. Yeah, there's no rise in our vacuum at all, so. That's comforting. 5.6 pounds. All right, so system calls for uh, 5.6 pounds of refrigerant, but they didn't use the correct line set size when they ran this system. And the line set is a little bit extra, so it's just kind of a guesstimate at this point how much we need. Lots of time in the field, it's not an exact science. Once you have a system that's been installed, especially improperly by someone else and you're working on it, sometimes you're just stuck with working what you're working with. Old girl's alive. <laughs> Trying to get footage without sounding like assholes. It's difficult with us. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hey, buddy. You. I like that feeling. <laughs> Your videos of me struggling. <laughs> How many HVAC techs to install a smoke detector? I mean, if you get a good one, it'd take five minutes. <laughs> hey, Johnny. Two seconds, two seconds. Why should people subscribe to our channel? Because we're the shit. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Alex? <laughs> I think they really should. Like. <laughs>